Okay, we will have more awards as the evening goes on, obviously, uh, but we're going to move along to the next part of the evening, which is something we're very excited about. Now, the Hall of Fame has been away for a few years now, but we have brought it back this year. We have some very special inductees, and to tell you more about it, much more than I can tell you, uh, please put your hands together for club historian Duncan Simpson. Welcome to the 10th Hall of Fame. The last one was six and a half years ago, so we've had a long time to, to wait for this to happen. Um, in my opinion, the Hall of Fame is a very important part of what this club does because it recognises people who put such a lot of effort into what they did at the club. Um, there are two kinds of people that have been inducted into the Hall of Fame in, in our time. In fact, there have been 49 of them altogether up till now. The first kind is, are, are people who have shown incredible loyalty to the club over very many years. And if you think about uh, those of you that know people like this, um, our former uh, secretary, Jimmy McConville, um, people like, um, um, sorry, <laughs> lost my bit. Uh, people, people like Joe Nelson, people like, uh, players like Ronnie Miller, Willie Callaghan, Kenny Thompson, uh, and of course, Norrie McCarthy. Um, and the other kind uh, are those that made an incredible impact. They maybe weren't at the club for so long, but they made a huge impact uh, over a very short space of time. Um, nobody's a, a, a better epitome of that than Jock Steen was, who is also a member of the, the Hall of Fame. But again, if you think about people like um, Roy Barry, Jackie McNamara, Isvan Cosma, they are the kind of people who are in the Hall of Fame. The two players tonight that we are going to induct into the Hall of Fame, you could argue, had both of those qualities. They were here uh, for a long time, and at certain points in their career at Dunfermline, they had fabulous impact. I want you to welcome up to the floor our first one. Uh, he's a busy guy, because unlike us, he's in the playoffs. Would you welcome to the floor Stuart Petrie. <laughs> Just stand there for a minute, Stuart, and we're going to say a couple of things about you. Um, in August 1993, Bert Payton made Stuart Petrie one of his first signings. Um, there's been long a, a question about how he managed to get the £70,000 to, to pay for him because at that time we're supposed to be absolutely skint. But he did, and it was uh, money well worth spending. He stayed with us for 10 years, he made 296 appearances and scored 57 goals. He was a left back, he was a midfield, he was left wing, he was a striker and sometimes he just kicked the hell out of the opposition. <laughs> but talking of impact, you know, he, yes, he was there a long time, so loyalty was one thing. But talking of impact, those of us that were there in April 1996 at Tanadice, and there was a certain guy here scored the winning goal and saw it Fernand into the Premier League. <laughs> to present the award tonight, we'd uh, the, the award is sponsored by Chris Wishart, and uh, we'd like to welcome up uh, one of Stuart's uh, buddies and uh, playing partners from those days. Would you welcome up Evo Den Beeman? Have you come away? Have you come in here, Evo? Uh, I think it's. Only right we start with the, the man himself, Stuart, if I can just squeeze in there, sorry, big man. Uh, so listen, uh, Stuart, first of all, uh, you're getting inducted into the Dunfermline Hall of Fame. How does that make you feel? Oh, very humbling uh, to be inducted in with such great names, uh, great players that's been at the club. Uh, kind of lost the words, I guess, to an extent, but no, no it's, a, it's, a, it's a magnificent honour I get, and I'm, and I'm over the moon, obviously. Obviously, Duncan mentioned uh, that day at Tanadice. Um, is that the, the overriding memory for you? Is there any other ones that stick out? I 
I think that's that's the one way. When you go to win championships, no doubt about that. And that obviously sticks for a, a long time. He didn't mention it. I got sent off after <laughs> in the game as well. But that was a tactical move to get sent off, so we would just defend better. But but no, no, a, a ten great years. Very privileged to play at the. It's a magnificent club, and I think once you've been here for that length of time, it's it's my club. It doesn't matter where I am. Uh, it's always the first result I look for. So. Uh, I know they've maybe struggled a little bit at times this year, but I'm sure Stevie, once he gets going next year, will we'll start climbing the table. I'm sure we'll be at the right end of the table. Is there uh, any any you'd like to see, Evil, if you want to come in and uh, have a wee chat about Stuart? What are your memories of uh, playing alongside Stuart? Well, I came in just before Stuart uh, at Dunfermline, and we had like uh, five years uh, together. Um, fantastic years uh, with a squad that was built on reliability, drive, uh, hard work and a mixture of uh, players that came from part-time football and full-time uh, established players and a never-say-die attitude. And we obviously, before we won the championship, we, we uh, said two times we didn't make it to the championship. But the third time, uh, down to his goal and his effort at uh, Tanadice. We beat them because the trophy was in the back of the car uh, at Tanadice and it was left there and it was unpacked the, real, the week after when we beat Airdrie at, uh, at East End Park. And that says the spirit of that team. And that says the spirit of Stuart. And he moved on another five years at Dunfermline and he's done magnificent. And I've played in his testimonial game and I've, we've been in touch, obviously, for uh, the rest of the time. I'm a former Montrose player and what he has done there is remarkably as well. So he's a very special character. He's a dear friend of mine and he's well deserved this Hall of Fame accolade. Thank you very much, Ivo. Thank you, Stuart. <laughs> Let me just ask you about, quickly about Montrose. Um, as Evo says, you've done a remarkable, jo a remarkable job, you picked them up right at the bottom of League 2, uh, promotion last season, and you're in the playoffs this season. It's been, uh, this management game's really easy, isn't it? <laughs> it's going okay just now. Uh, I've got a, a fabulous group of players to work with. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the, the, the groups that, that Bert and Dick built uh, at Dunfermline. When you have that spirit in the changing room, there's, there's nothing better. I know it's a, a cliche when you say that, oh, we've got a great bunch, but we certainly do, and they're just a... A pleasure to work on a Tuesday and a Thursday and, and, and we're, we're getting a break of the ball at the moment so it's a uh, long way to continue because I'm sure I'm sure there'll be days when we, we fall on harder times and we'll suffer a few defeats but we'll, we'll enjoy it while we can. Absolutely and I think everyone here will wish you well for the playoffs. And that's, that, that's always the nice thing, Stuart underestimates his own role <laughs> and his own importance in success. <laughs> yeah, well I think, uh, absolutely. And uh, as I was going to say, I think everyone we wish you all the best for the playoffs. We do have a small presentation for you as well. Uh, Craig, if you want to come up and uh, show me what I'm meant to do at this point, that'd be great. Uh, so there we are. So there you are. Your first Hall of Fame entry tonight is Mr. Stuart Petrie. Please put your hands together.